Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2020 animated feature Scoob. This is a film that is directed by Tony Siobhan and it stars Will Forte, Mark Wahlberg, Jason Isaacs, Gina Rodriguez, Zac Efron, Amanda Seyfried or Seyfried, I'm never really sure how to pronounce that, Ken Yong, Tracy Morgan and Frank Welker as the voice of Scooby-Doo. Now we've been made to wait in the UK for this film a little bit. It's been out a couple of months, I think, in the US. They released it early on streaming services um, because of the COVID outbreak. Um, however, like I say, we've been made to wait in the UK. And this is a new animated feature featuring Scooby-Doo and the gang um, that focuses on initially um, Shaggy Rogers. It focuses on him as a child He's not able to make any friends and then he discovers a stray dog, Scooby-Doo. They become the best of friends. Very soon after that, they meet uh, what will become Mystery Inc., Fred, Zelma, Daphne, all the rest. Velma, sorry. Um, and then they go on to form Mystery Inc. Um, and then when they are grown up and adults, there's a bit of a split and a divide. Shaggy and Scoob go off with some superhero. What's he called? Blue Falcon. Um, and Dick Dastardly has hatched a dastardly plan. I don't know what it is about, really. To get Mutley back, I guess. Um, that's basically the plot of this film. And the plot of this film is utter trash. I have to say, I was, after a really strong opening, I, I have to say, the first 10 minutes of this, I thought was wonderful. When they were young, when they formed, um, it was perfect Scooby-Doo material. And it was exactly where this film should have continued on after that. It should have, it should have built on that. What we get after the first 10 minutes is this bizarre nostalgia trip down Warner Brothers or Hanna Barbera's um, vaults? We like I say we've got Dastardly and Mutley in this thing. We've got Captain Caveman makes an appearance, um, and you've got this Blue Falcon who I don't, so personally I don't know if Blue Falcon is part of Hanna Barbera or Warner Brothers. I've no idea, but he turns up, um, and this story from that point on turns into a complete and utter mess that loses its focus, that loses its um, attention on these characters. That, I mean, this is a Scooby-Doo film. And it, it, it felt like the other characters, besides Shaggy and Scoob, are completely dumped off a cliff here in this feature. And I don't get it. It, it should have been a reimagining almost of like the Scooby-Doo that we know and love and they give us that in the first 10 minutes they, they solve it you know they all get together and they solve this mystery in this haunted house while the kids um, and then when they grow up you're thinking oh yeah let's 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 have some more of that said, you know and then no it's kind of like no we're not giving you that and it turns into this weird kids film that uh, isn't funny really um, and he's just a bit odd and weird and messy and muddled all over the place. I could understand probably if 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 you go as a family to see this film and you don't really have any pre preconceived ideas of who Scooby Doo is, you're probably going to like this. And I suspect the young kids are going to like this. That much is clear. I know that if I took my son Jake, who is now 14, but if I took him to see this when he was like six seven eight years old it had probably loved it i'm fairly sure of that and i would have probably enjoyed it more because he enjoyed it but as me just watching it as a critic or a, a critic i'm not a critic as a riv trying to review it um it's a mess wasted voice talent here completely and utterly wasted they bring Zac Efron on as Fred Jones and give him nothing interesting to do, as do none of the rest of the gang. Will Forte as Shaggy. I'm trying to be kind here. It doesn't work, really. His voice isn't distinctive enough to be Shaggy. 
Um, Scooby Scooby it's how you remember Scooby Doo in regards to how he talks and acts and things like that but it's not the Scooby Doo you know this yes there are some fun moments yes you do have a little chuckle now and again and it's damn right over the top and silly um, but it, it almost feels like a cartoon remake of the original Scooby Doo film Sarah Michelle Gellar and people like that um, they've taken elements of that and put it into this animated feature and then chucked all these other Warner Brothers characters in like Captain Caveman and Dastardly and Muttley and you're just like well it's not a Scooby Doo film anymore it didn't feel like it to me um, and it, you just kind of end up scratching your head a little bit fairly soon into this film um, so yeah it, it's I think it's one of those films that the kiddies are going to enjoy I'm sure, but I can certainly understand now the criticism that this animated feature has been getting. It's all over the place, it's a little bit messy, and um, a disappointment. And to me, the blueprint was there, they knew what the blueprint was, because they used it perfectly in the first ten minutes, and then they threw it out the window and thought, right, we're going to do it our way now. And they blew it. So. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 and the reason I'm giving it a 6 out of 10 is it's a family film and a family and kids are going to enjoy it and the animation is very very nice to look at. I think the animation is actually really very well done but the, the rest of it, some of the voice performances and definitely the story is terrible I think. So that's my review for Scoob. Certainly one for the kiddies but everyone else forget it really I would suggest. So thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you found it useful. And I will be back with more content on Screen Stars very soon.